Welcome to the Rice County Historical Society. My name is Sue Garwood, and this week in history, we're going to talk about Grace McKinstry. Grace McKinstry was known as an artist, particularly landscape and portraits. And the reason she is significant this week in history is that it was on April 23rd in 1890 that her pictures were exhibited in the Paris Salon. Yet, she was from Faribault. She came to Faribault in 1865 with her parents and younger brother, and it was her father, Archibald McKinstry, who became editor of the Faribault Republican. In this picture, you can see her in her studio. This is actually in the upper level of her of the parents' home, which she later would uh, occupy herself. And it's at 215 Northwest 3rd Street. It was in this studio that many significant Minnesotan and Faribault record citizens would come and have their portraits painted. You can see Grace, as I mentioned, but also here pictured are the portraits of Dr. Dobbin, who became the first, one of the founders of the St. James School up at Shattuck St. Mary's, and Bishop Gilbert, who was a Minnesota Episcopal Bishop. She studied in New York City and Chicago. As I mentioned, she went on to Paris. She also had a studio in California. One of the things that she was known for locally is she was the founder of Faribault's Travelers Club. It, was the oldest, it is still today the oldest civic organization still in operation. And it was, you can see all these international travels like this picture of Italy and so on. She would tell her stories about these different countries. What's significant about Grace among all of these amazing things was as she described in 1907, quote, an artist who grow, whose growing fame is placing her in front ranks of American painters. She nonetheless risked pursuing her career in her hometown, with her eyes open to isolation from even our national art centers, knowing full well how suicidal it might prove to inspiration, loyalty, family, and home, she still kept her main studio here in Faribault. She, it didn't diminish her notoriety and in fact today if you go to the Minneapolis Institute of Art you can find several of her portraits on exhibition. Rice County Historical Society preserving the past for future generations.